Hi, good morning everybody. Today we're gonna to do a little battle of the sunscreens. So I'm gonna do a comparison of the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen and then the Black Girl Magic Matte sunscreen. So I am going to be getting ready and I'm gonna do one half of my face, the Super Goop, and then one half of my face, the Black Girl Matte. I keep saying black or matte. The black girl sunscreen, the matte version, because they have two different versions. So I was curious about this because, of course, the Super Goop one is like double the price as the black girl sunscreen. Make it matte. So you get 1.7 ounces here. It's uh, SPF 45, and this is $17.99 or $18.99 at Target. I'm sure you can get it on their website too. I'll put some links down below. And then this is the Super Group Unseen Sunscreen. Um, this is the travel size that I got from Ulta because I just wanted to test it out. So this itself was $18. <laughs> so as you can see, you get a lot more here for here. And then this is an SPF 40, broad spectrum, water and sweat resistant. And I believe same. Yes, it is water resistant. Okay. <laughs> So looking at the active ingredients in both of these, they have the same four active ingredients, which is pretty cool. So I think this is a great comparison to do, especially considering the cost, because literally these both were the same price. 1.7 ounces and half an ounce. So you get less than a third in this one and this one for the same price. Um, so they they have the same four active ingredients, but they're in slightly different concentrations. So some of them are the same, like the avobenzone, 3% concentration, homosalate, it, it's 8% in this one, and then 10% in the black girl sunscreen. And then the octisolate is a 5% concentration in the black girl sunscreen, and then a four, no, that's the same. This is the same concentration. So the octisolate is the same concentration at 5%, and then the octocrylene is 4% concentration here and 10% concentration here. So just a little overview of the ingredients, pretty darn similar. They may perform slightly differently, but they have the same active ingredients. Um, I assume not many things in combination can get that clear sunscreen look that we're, that we're looking for so we don't look ashy, you know? I've already prepped my skin, done, moisturizer and all that. I wanna do the super goop on this side and the black girl sunscreen on this side. And then I'm gonna wear it all today and see if there is any major difference that I noticed. So I wanna use about this much. I have been using the super goop sunscreen, but I haven't had the chance to experiment with the black girl sunscreen. So this would be kind of part first impressions and then part review, comparison, etc. So it's just super velvety, the super goop which I love, of course, as we all do. I'm basically trying to see, for the most part, what I kind of care about is like, does one leave my skin oilier than the other? Or, you know, just little cosmetic kind of differences. Um, this one has a higher SPF, so cool, though they're pretty close. So this consistency is a little bit more oily. As you can see, it's shinier. This one has more of a matte finish. They have a slightly different tint as well. So here we have the black girl sunscreen. It's more clear, a little bit more shiny, kind of oily looking. And then this is the super goop right here. See, like if I, here it looks a little bit more clear, but if I tilt my hand, you can see it has like a little bit of a tint and it's not as shiny. So it's a little bit more matte. So just FYI, this one definitely feels more viscous. A little bit more thick, not harder to spread, but they definitely have different textures to them. Actually, I don't know. I, I definitely like both for sure. Like this one definitely feels like more silky, definitely more thick, more viscous, as I mentioned. I don't think any of us really care about the texture because both are, they're pleasant. They're not unpleasant. So that's, that's good. <laughs> In all fairness, like I was like, oh, this isn't really a matte sunscreen, but it says make it matte. So maybe it just means that it helps you to stay matte <laughs> throughout the day. But it's definitely more like oily and shiny and stuff to the feel and to the look. No, they probably look about equal shiny, equal shine levels. I keep having like little lint on my face. 
Okay, so got the sunscreen on. I'm gonna do my makeup um, and then I guess I'll come back and then we'll go through the rest of the day. Okay, makeup is on and I'm ready to go. Yeah, I don't see any really major differences between either side. Maybe this is slightly more matte, ever so slightly. So yeah, I'll come back at the end of the day and kind of show you what my face is looking like, what my skin is looking like, and I'll give you my final thoughts. So see you later. Okay, I'm here for a check-in. It's been three and a half hours since I applied the sunscreen before my makeup. Now, you may not be able to even see this, but this side is a lot shinier than this side. So this is the super goop side, funnily enough. And then this is the black girl sunscreen side called Make It Matte. So it made it matte. I was kind of surprised though, cause it had more of a film. I can, I don't even know how to describe the texture, but it just feels very silky, like a little bit oily kind of thing. But this side is definitely noticeably oilier. And I even asked my husband, <laughs> Like I was like, let me ask you, which side of my face is more oily? And then he looked at it and he said this sign. So there you go. I mean, I thought that was pretty interesting. Okay, so we're at the end of the night. I'm actually about to go to the gym. It's about eight o'clock right now. So it's been well over eight hours. I applied both sunscreens, Super Goop and Black Girl sunscreen, make it matte on this side. And I did have to blot my face once because I was filming some content earlier <laughs> but I will say and again I don't know if you can really notice it but this side is definitely a little bit more shiny so I will say final thoughts for you can get the same amount for less than three times the price and wait does that make sense I would say for the same active ingredients at nearly identical percentages of concentration. The fact that it does throughout the day, for me, um, go slightly less shiny. You can get three times the amount for the same price. I would 100% say like, if you're on a budget, go with the Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Matte. It's something that I definitely think I will repurchase more often just because it's less expensive and it's about the same active ingredients and it makes me go less shiny. So like, I think the clear winner here is the black girl sunscreen, but I'm not saying that the super group one is bad at all. I'm just saying that this one seems to hold up a little bit better. It's cheaper. Like the SPF is a little bit higher. Like why not? You know? So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you on my next one. Bye. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights, doing what we want to